Hey Ollie, how's it going? Um, great video, really enjoyed it. I'm really glad to hear that you're an um, organ donor already, so well done there. And also well done to Bournemouth, although they haven't made it this week. I did just check, as you know I'm not a football fan, but Derby are now ahead of them. Boohoo! <laughs> Incredible news about the school. That's really good. How on earth did they get it down to just £1 per child per month? I mean, that's, that's incredibly cheap. But no, that's really good news. And um, I think, I don't know if you heard, but Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, he has just pledged that he will... 700 satellites in orbit around the Earth, uh, which will beam cheap, affordable broadband around the world. This will mean that people from all over the world, no matter where they are, should be able to afford, I mean, he says affordable, so I'm hoping that it's affordable for everyone, uh, will be able to access the internet and get on. Uh, that will be awesome. Uh, it will mean that people have access to all the information they need. People will then start to connect and will have a bit more of a connection as an entire world rather than just the west and um, tiny tiny parts of the um, uh, rich populations of other countries. Each satellite he's trying to get less than a million pounds and they all weigh about 115 kilograms which is great um, but a lot of people are thinking how is he going to do that because at the minute each satellite costs several million pounds and they weigh twice as much in weight. So um, it'll be interesting to see what happens, but let's watch this space. Another thing you mentioned, uh, and correct me on, uh, subtly, was uh, the fact that I did say that there's a huge scarcity in Africa of water. Obviously not everywhere is, um, is that scarce. But, but for the places that are really where the water is sparse, um, a really cool little invention has come along. There's a little beetle in the Nimba I think it's Nimba or Nimbia. It's in the Namib Desert. And basically what happens is this little beetle's got a very nice back and condensation droplets form on it in the night when it's cool. <coughs> Lost my track there because I coughed. What happened is someone saw this and thought, that's water out of there. And what have they done? They've gone and built these cool little towers. Uh, they're made of like bamboo and they put a plastic mesh on it. And then at night, they're, they're quite big. They're actually nine metres tall, which is almost as tall as you. <laughs> uh, and basically water gathers in, in the night and then in the morning each tower collects a hundred litres of water because what happens is condenses, runs down the tower into these little like buckets at the bottom and then they've got clean drinking water for everyone and these are starting to go around. I think Ethiopia is one of the first places and I'll post a link, like, as we always do, there'll be a link in the description for you. Um, to check out Ollie. It's really promising as well because obviously I can't imagine a bit of bamboo and plastic mesh costs a great deal and if it's getting 100 litres a night that's, that's enough for like a village almost isn't it I would have thought so that's really good news. Drones get a lot of bad rep, I don't know if you saw the new South Park Ollie, it was very funny, it was about drones spying on other drones and then the drones getting beaten up, uh, very good, it was worth checking it out. <laughs> but also um, there's some good news about drones. In Holland, they have actually created a drone defibrillator and it comes around, it also has other things on it medically uh, wise. If, if someone's in need, they call it and this drone comes on down and boom, boom, has a defibrillator on it so someone can bring you back. Pretty cool stuff. In other news, I've got a nice new haircut. I hope you like it. It's a bit short, uh, shorter than I anticipated. But other than that, the beard's coming along nicely. And good news as well, it's my fourth anniversary with Sarah in two or three days and we're going to watch Book of Mormon. I'm really excited. So I might see you in London, maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, that's everything worth knowing, Ollie. Stay positive and spread the love.